good, good. The road trip, son. Huh? Yeah. Okay, I'll call him and see what I can find out. And we go from there. But I know you can also get in under the bridge. It's sketchy, but you can just do it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, just let me know. I'll, uh, and I'll talk to y'all as soon as I talk to Vortex. That was Kyle. We just got a phone with Kyle. They got back from Colorado, and he stayed a few extra days because uh, one of the rivers that we like to fish up here, super low. They quit letting out water, and it's crystal clear because it hasn't rained hard in a few days. We've had some really good luck there over the years. It's always it always seems to be the best in the winter time. So we're gonna go check it out. It's most definitely winter. It's a low of 29 tonight. Uh, 14 mile an hour winds. So hopefully the wind doesn't get to us too much, being as we're on the river, but. It's gonna be cold. It'll be the first time we've had the boat out to fish hard since we put the new motor in it. Uh, so first trip of 2021. First trip of 2021. Yeah, we're just excited. Things are about to die. A lot of things. So big fish, small fish. We're geared up. JJ's fished a tournament here, and what do we like? Triple second place? Oh yeah, we matched. Wasn't even close. If it's and anything like it was, it'll it'll break the internet. Like y'all have never seen anything like this before. But do you want to explain this? Everybody asks us why. Uh, if we shoot reels, why do we shoot slides? I mean, I, I know why. Yeah. Well, we we all used to shoot tying to the back. A couple of the benefits that we found with shooting with slides. A lot of people argue with you, but we do feel like it's a lot safer, number one, because uh, there's not near as much stuff for your string to get caught on because it stays in front of your rest, all that. And then also, when we shoot a lot of fish, we're shooting sm smaller fish, softer fish in the summer, they don't blow through the fish as easy, and that's something else that we really like. And uh, they just seem like they hold on to the string a lot better. They don't, they don't cut through the string as if you were to tie to the back of it. A lot of people do ask, what arrows we use with the lighted knocks for our videos? Muzzy. These are X knocks by uh, Nocturnal. That's all they are. Muzzy sells these arrows already set up, and you can go buy, you know, as many of these Nocturnals to fit in there if they if they break or come off, you know, during uh, during fishing, and you just pop another one in there. It's super cool for video, and you can also see kind of where your arrow's going and if it's stuck in the fish or not. So. 56, not 50 cent. Oh, from HPS to Hayline. Yeah. Ah. Where'd you come from? Man, I just down the road seen this boat. Almost. What are them lines for? Y'all crappie fishing? <laughs> <laughs> are y'all ready to do this? Let's get it on. All right. Thank you. trip of 2021 uh, the river super low it's relatively clear but we're out here chasing uh, grass carp we haven't really made a really good episode on grass carp so we went to a river that we fished multiple times over the years uh, tournaments and stuff like that and uh, there's a ton of grass carp in here so we just got on the water about 15 minutes ago and we're working our way towards these deeper holes to see if we can fill the boat with some grass carp so it should be a pretty good night. We're seeing a ton of fish. I haven't seen any grass carp yet. Um, we've seen some catfish, big, big schools of buffalo. 
but uh, we're gonna find them. So they're in here and just gotta find them. Oh my goodness. Hey, right here. They ruin lakes, they destroy all the grass habitat. They actually release them into a lot of lakes. Like one of the lakes in Texas, Conway Lake down by Houston. They actually, it was super bad. It was so overran with grass and uh, hydrilla and stuff. They let grasses in there and they're actually protected in that lake, you can't shoot them. And they are everywhere. But this sucker is north of 30, he's probably be 32, great 34 pounds. This is a great big 20 fish. fish. <laughs> great big 20 fish. But big or small, we shoot them off, so.
Goodness, that is freaking cool. Dude. Dude, that cool. Look at all the scars and stuff on it. I've never seen one up close. So they take their bills. I've never seen their bills, but when they like do like a euro mount to them, it's all hollow and stuff. Really, the yeah, bill? Yeah, cool. it looks like a honeycomb almost. Like it's super cool. Oh, we're gonna we fillet. definitely gotta get some pictures of this. We're gonna fillet him, and he's gonna eat like Christmas. That is freaking sick. Who shot it though? JJ. We, we both shot it. I backup shot it. We shot at the same time. Tagged out. <laughs> we shot at the same time. My arrow didn't go all the way through, so he had better penetration. Yeah, there you go. That's how we, that's how we saw that. Those. I was close Over to the China, they used to have uh, Chinese paddlefish. Dude, they're huge. Like 20 foot or something. What? Yeah. And I ain't oh. seen one though since like 98 or something. Oh, dude. 20 foot. Massive. Yeah. Yeah. I'm doing one. Dude, that is sick, ain't it? Yeah, it is. Hey, he's probably close to 40 or better. He's maybe 50. Oh, dude, he's all there. He's yeah. probably 50. Jump something like look like that. Oh, no, no, no. Basically, that's actually a little bit smaller than what we try to jump over. But I went flying, and I had the camera good. It was like rolling down my leg, and I was like, "Oh yeah, I'm gonna be able to reach over." And all of a sudden, we hit again, and I'm talking everybody. JJ nearly went over the deck. Camera went over into the into the drink. Doing this bow fishing thing the way we do it. These airboats are rough. But did you die? I'm just cold. <laughs> That's what insurance is for, though. And that one just, that was a gravity rock. That was the ones that Ryan calls the gravity rocks, for sure. Those were not the soft rocks. Those were not the soft rocks. There's most definitely a dent in the bottom of my hole. <laughs> well, if we get thirsty, we could drink out of Ryan's lids. What's that? get thirsty we can all have a drink out of Ryan's lens. Yeah, no doubt. Shot. If my camera is okay, I'm I'm golden. Like I would I would do it again.
to the right, dude. feel my feet. Trent's cold. Did you show him the ice? Chili. That's ice. I would lick it if it didn't taste like fish. So lucky that we didn't put a hole in the bottom of the boat. Look, you right. should see the chunk of poly missing. Really? Oh, straight up. There's a massive chunk of poly missing. We ain't taking you ever again. We break crap. Bad luck guy. Yeah, the dude literally Dude literally comes onto the boat and goes, first thing he asked me, you ever lost your camera in the water? And I was like, nope, but I bet we will tonight. <laughs> Dude, that is brutal. Bro, it's just solid ice. Woo! That's what it's all about. Yes. Let's get some hot chocolate and go do round two. <laughs> I'm so done. We're just getting started. Is that my mine or yours? The cow's gonna be a joy tomorrow. All right, we're done. See y'all in the next episode. I, 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 I,